see I'm filming. guys it's craft again and today i'm going to be doing another haul video today i'm going to be doing a collective haul which just basically means a whole bunch of things that i've bought over the span of time that don't necessarily come from the same store we ate what time is it almost one. Oh my goodness okay i got some stuff from the dollar tree amazon Bentley's, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, just basically a ton of places. So yeah, let's just get into it. I heard that intro on your videos is actually really bad for the algorithm, so I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> let us start, let, let us, let us, let us start <laughs> with Amazon. Cause I have the least things from Amazon. So it's gonna go by the fastest. I forgot to check the audio. Let me do that quickly. Okay, we good with the audio. Let's just get started. Wow. So the first thing I got from Amazon is a Fox 40 classic whistle. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm a lifeguard. So whistles are very important for the job. And I only had one. So I was like, I should get another one. I think this is literally like $4.99, like so inexpensive. The next thing I got came in this little package. It is a very weird thing, but I thought it was really cool. Like they're little like braiding things and you can basically do like French braids or like fishtail braids with them. Oh, it says in the top it says a french braiding tool i literally saw this on instagram and i searched like on amazon for so long to find it because it didn't have a name and i found it and it came in i think it came in a pack of eight so i have eight of these things i've never actually used them because i don't really know how to and i also don't know if they'll work for my hair because my hair is really long and really thick but i used them on my siblings and it seemed to work the next thing i got from amazon is a two pack of the L'Oreal Paris eyebrow pencils in the color dark brunette. This was just super inexpensive and I needed a new eyebrow pencil. I think they were like $8 for two, so like $4 each, that's such a good price. Okay, the last three things from Amazon are all jewelry pieces. The first thing that I got came in this little like packy, packy, oh my gosh. In this little package, I can't talk. And they are these really, really cute gold paper clip earrings. Paper, paper clip? Paper safety pin safety pin earrings that's what they're called oh my gosh are these cute i literally love these so much they are way bigger than i thought i thought they were gonna be eeny eeny miny tiny <laughs> but they're actually really big. They're literally like the size of normal safety pins. <laughs> I hope these will look good in, but they are so cute. They look so like beautiful. I think they were like $15, $16, but I really wanted them and they were really cute. The next thing I got came in this little jewelry box and it is the brand S. S noon. These are some paper clip earrings as well. I don't really like these ones at all, honestly. I think they are kinda ugly. I got them because they had the little gems. And again, I thought they were really tiny, but they ended up being way bigger than I thought, which usually is a good thing. But in this case, I wanted them to be small. I didn't know, but it also came with like a fake septum piercing and also one random earring. And then the last thing came in this like beautifully packaged like envelope sort of thing. It's a silver envelope. And inside the envelope came this little necklace and oh my gosh is this adorable this is a little key necklace that is gold and it says confidence is key make a wish and put on your necklace the future is wide open wear a necklace to remind you that when you believe in yourself you're unstoppable which is just so cute i just love it and the key is so tiny and detailed i love dainty jewelry also i might link the stuff that i got off amazon in the description if i can i'll try to link them because this necklace is so cute okay the next store that i bought things from was bentley's i'm pretty sure if i'm not i'm gonna seem really stupid but this is a like suitcase leather store sort of when i went into the store i saw a really expensive bag and i really needed a backpack i really need a backpack i was like going back and forth i literally wasn't sure if i wanted this or not it was like really nice but I, i'm so indecisive it's terrible this ended up being part of their black friday sale i'm pretty sure it was originally 129.99 I cannot even believe it. And then it was on sale for $89. And then it was 50% of that. So I'm pretty sure it ended up being like $45. I got a steal on this one. It is the Tracker brand, which is a in-house brand. So it's not like a name brand, but apparently this is like a really good brand. Like it's well liked and well loved and good quality and stuff. It is a plain black backpack 
with a bajillion pockets. I'm really happy to have a really good quality bag and I got it for a great deal. The one thing that I did want to mention that is super cool was that it has a charging port. So if you plug your external charger into the bag on the inside, you can plug your cord on the outside and charge your phone. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. And then also next to that bag, I was already getting that one and then I saw this bag right next to it, also for 50% off. This is a Jan Sport bag. It is a mini backpack and it is a beautiful lilac color. And this was originally, actually I have no idea how much this originally is. If I find the time, I might put it on the screen, but on the sale price, it was $29.99 and then it was discounted again and it was $26. And then I got the $26 50% off. So I think this bag was around $15 if not less expensive. Okay now that is everything that I got from Bentley's and now the last store that I went to was the Dollar Tree. It wouldn't be a craft get haul if I didn't go to the Dollar Tree. What's in the back of your hair? A clip. That looks nice. Thank you. I actually popped off at the dollar store. Okay that's so cringy I'm so sorry. I actually got a ton of cute stuff. I ended up getting these two black shelves, I'd call them. They were each $4, so they were, oh my gosh, my hair got stuck. So they were kind of expensive, but like, okay, do you see the thing in the background right there? That I got in the US at the dollar and more. Is that what it's called? And I found these at my Dollarama, and they look identical. Like obviously they're different shapes. I think there was another shape, but I liked these two the most. This is more of like an actual shelf. Okay, how cute would this be if you had like some plants that like trail down on the shelf? Like I cannot believe how cute that would be. And then this is literally shaped like a little house. I wonder if you could flip it upside down. Okay, next thing I got is this really cute wire rack. I'm gonna be using this for my papers and my binders and stuff because I have just them all jammed into my closet. I just think it's cute and it's gonna be really practical to use for my closet. Okay, I don't want this video to be a bajillion hours long. I've been filming it for so long, so let's just get the little bit left over with quickly. So the next thing that I got is this Loni? Lonnie? These are basically like finger clips if you're taking off acrylics. I do not have acrylics and I don't get acrylics. My nails are real but I got these to use for my sister when I do her acrylic nails or poly gel nails actually. Okay, this thing that I got was kind of weird. Like I wouldn't think to get this, but this is a candle snuffer. It literally, you just take this, put it over the candle and it puts out the candle. And I got it in this really beautiful black color. I don't like candles. Literally every candle in my room has never been lit before. First of all, I have a really hard time with scents. And also I just don't find any enjoyment in burning candles but a lot of the people in my family do and specifically my sister loves it so I might give this to her next thing that I got I'm actually wearing this in my hair right now it is a two-pack hair clip I'm wearing the clear one in my hair right now and then there's a black one I got these because I thought they looked pretty big and I thought they were a good idea to like hold my hair up now these are way too small for my hair like obviously what I'm using them for right now works perfectly like to hold the front bits back but if I wanted to hold all of my hair up these clips ain't doing nothing. Okay, the next few things are a lot of makeup items. The Dollar Tree has a lot of brand name beauty products for really inexpensive. I got another brush and it is the small tapered brush. I don't actually have this brush and I have a lot of elf brushes so I was really happy to see this and it looks like a perfect brush for doing like under eye powder or anything like that. The next thing I got was a concealer. I'm really excited to try this out. I don't even know if it's the right color. It is in the color ivory and I usually am ivory ish so hopefully it'll fit me the one thing that i don't like about the dollar tree is that they do not have a shade range at all like it's mostly just white it's really annoying hopefully they'll diversify and then the last elf product that i got is this glitter eyeliner in shimmering gold it is literally beautiful i don't wear eyeliner at all but i think i'll have to because this is so beautiful also i have to mention this elf's packaging is gorgeous. I love e.l.f. We'll always love e.l.f. I got some eyeshadow applicators. Funnily enough, not for doing eyeshadow, but for doing nails. <laughs> it comes in a 20 pack and I needed some when I was doing my nails, so I decided to get them when I saw them. Next thing I got was a blemish extender. Ex ex oh my gosh, extractor. I can't read. I didn't even know this was at the dollar store. I actually got these for Christmas one year, like a whole like package of them from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. And they're my favorite gift ever. I suffer with really bad acne and these are a lifesaver. The last makeup item I got was a makeup 
brush cleaning mitt. I am so excited about this because my brush, my beauty blender, my everything, they are so dirty. And I just wanted like a cheap one. I got it in this teal color because I thought it was pretty. Okay, the last few things in here are all room decor things. So the first thing I got was this beautiful, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a hanging like geometric diamond. It was $4. It was insanely expensive. Like this for $4, I debated on getting it or not. I just thought it was so cute though. It came in a whole bunch of different colors like gold, silver, black, everything. And it is like glass like that. There are glass panels in it. Oh my gosh. I just, I just put my finger on this and black is coming off and the actual ring is turning gold. <laughs> the next thing I got was this spherical white dome. It looks super interesting and honestly it looks really like high end and like really expensive. I'm literally shedding black everywhere because my finger has black on it. I just thought this was super cool and like I feel like it looks as I said really expensive. Going along with the same like geometric shape I got this little spiky black ball. I think I'm gonna spray paint this like a rose gold color because I think it'll go with my room more but I might leave it black because there are some black accents. We'll see. And then the last thing that I got was this. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a candle holder, but I can use it for anything. I can even put this little ball on top and then it looks like a little sculpture. I just thought this was so cute and like, it's not usually the aesthetic that I'd go for, but I honestly fell in love with this. Okay, shoot, my microphone actually stopped recording, so I am so sorry. Hopefully you didn't mind the audio too bad. But anyway, that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Go follow my Instagram. I actually have an Instagram for my YouTube channel. It is just crafty cat on Instagram, look it up give it a follow. I just post like notifications of when I have posted my videos. And also like if I'm not posting a video, that is where you get all my channel updates. So go follow it. I made it a while ago, but I keep forgetting to promote it and tell you guys about it. Anyway, as I said, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.